In the Atacama Desert, at the very heart of the Andes Mountains, amidst extreme climatic conditions, water springs from the earth. Tiny droplets unite to form delicate channels that wind slowly down through the steep mountain valleys. Whether over or underground, the water steadily makes its way through the planet's crust. The first to receive it is the region's indigenous communities. In the Atacama Salt Flats area, we encounter a unique situation that perfectly explains the water cycle in this part of the world. One of the region's most unique weather patterns involves precipitation in the central valleys, where, for example, rainfall rarely passes 2 millimeters annually. By contrast, the high Andes receive around 120 millimeters per year. This is why it is important to understand the regional climate and how it affects the water cycle. In fact, there are four different climate types here ranging from the Pacific coastal climate to the Andean high plains. This is where our work takes place and where we fit into the natural water cycle. An essential part of the operations and culture at SQM is respecting and protecting the heritage of the local and indigenous populations who have lived in the basin of the Atacama salt flats for centuries. SQM only uses the area's waters once neighboring communities have taken what they need for residential and commercial purposes. The water used by SQM comes from aquifers found dozens or even hundreds of meters below the natural canyons and channels of the surface waters used by the locals. This diagram of the Atacama salt flats shows the way water naturally runs through the basin, both over and underground. Part of the water available in the basin runs over the surface in small channels and canyons. However, most of it runs underground, feeding aquifers right up to the area of transition, where the water naturally breaks through to the surface. There are two naturally occurring liquids in the basin of the Atacama salt flats, brine and fresh water. The brine is a very dense liquid, high in salinity. Indeed, it is seven times saltier than seawater and is found exclusively in reservoirs underneath the very heart of the salt flats. The region's fresh water, meanwhile, is found in the aquifers of the alluvial plain. When the two liquids meet, their large disparity in density forces the fresh water to flow over the brine, forming a brackish boundary layer between the two. As the fresh water moves over the brine, near the heart of the salt flats, it has no option but to break the surface, forming the small lagoons and channels we see on the surface of the border areas. Our activities ensure that this area of transition and the brackish boundary layer maintain their delicate balance, which is a key factor in the design of our operations. This dynamic process allows for the existence of the vegetation we see today around the salt flats. Fresh water then is available both above and below ground and is a fundamental element for the many diverse human activities in the basin, such as residence, agriculture and industry. On the other hand, brine cannot be used for these purposes and cannot be affordably converted into fresh water. SQM uses only a tiny portion of the fresh water available in the basin. Today, SQM takes water from four wells on the boundary of the salt flats, pumping 116 liters per second of fresh water, a number well below the 240 liters authorized by Chile's environmental authorities. With this amount of water, we can produce close to 2 million tons of potassium salts and 270,000 tons of lithium chloride solution.
In this context, the underground water rights assigned to tourism and water supply are approximately 210 liters per second, while surface water rights in the basin, set mainly to irrigation and cattle farming for local communities, rise to 2,400 liters per second. Meanwhile, the copper mining industry is assigned water rights of around 200 liters per second of underground fresh water. Finally, SQM currently uses just 116 liters per second of its assigned water rights, amounting to under 2% of all the water rights assigned by authorities in the basin. Lithium is a vital part of the modern, mobile and interconnected world that we live in. The mineral's importance has made it highly sought after in computer manufacturing, telecommunications and electric vehicles. This new and innovative momentum, inspired by a future where technological development will be vital to ensuring a harmonious coexistence with the natural world, is present throughout the lithium production process. That's why, at SQM, we have striven to go further with our commitment to the sustainability of the Atacama salt flats. And we will continue to work with everything we have to keep reducing our carbon footprint and internal water consumption, along with many other improvements to our operations. SQM has operated a comprehensive monitoring system on the Atacama salt flats since 1996. This platform includes our water monitoring system of over 225 measuring points that are used to determine, among other things, the levels of underground fresh water and brine and the levels of chemical quality of the basin's lagoons. We also monitor the region's flora and fauna with field studies, satellite imaging, wildlife censuses and limnological research. SQM also has an early warning system to help avoid any relevant environmental impact from pumping fresh water and brine. If any deviations from the norm are observed, SQM should immediately reduce the volume of water or brine being pumped from its wells to avoid the risk of damage to the basin's sensitive ecosystems. You can find out more about our monitoring systems at www.sqmsenlinea.com. SQM – Solutions for Human Progress